Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to play the tune Oh Mary Don't You Weep on the violin. This tune was requested by a viewer and supporter of The Tune Project, so thanks so much Roland for your request. And let's get into this tutorial. As always, if you end up enjoying and finding this video to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, I post videos just like this one each and every week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below. There are a few different keys that this tune is sung and played in, but today I'm gonna to be teaching it to you in the key of G major. And we're gonna be starting on the A string with a B and the first phrase sounds like this. So you can already tell that there's definitely a swung rhythm happening, so be sure to implement that as we go. We had a little bit of string crossings there between the D string and A string. And this next phrase, we're gonna start on open A. Coming down to the D string, ending on a G. And then we come down to our first finger E on the D string. Ending on our third finger G. And then we come up to the A string with our B again, our first finger. Again, with that little bit of back and forth between the A and D strings. So that is the gist of the melody and you can really repeat that as many times as you would like. When the song is being sung, it is sung many times in a row. So feel free to do the same when you're playing this on the fiddle. But for now, let's go ahead and play this tune together. One, two, ready, go. Because this melody is on the shorter side and is fairly simple, I would recommend incorporating some ornaments and embellishments to make it a little bit more interesting, especially if you're going to be repeating the melody over and over and over again, just to add in a little bit more interest. So for that, I would recommend throwing in some double stops and you can start by playing a chord. This is going to be a G major chord. We're going to do our G, our third finger on the D string with our B, which is the first note of the melody. We're just gonna hold that third finger G down as we play the melody notes on the A string, at least the first few of them. And that gives us a nice double stop. And you can end with that open D and open A if you would like, instead of having the G and A together, which ends up sounding a bit dissonant if we hang on to it for too long. It's okay if we have it a little bit here and there, which is why I left my G note down for majority of those notes. But when you reach the end, you're welcome to just play that as an open fifth. So that's just an example of a double stop that you can add into this tune, but there are other opportunities as well, and I would encourage you to play around with different double stops within this tune. Another thing that you can throw into this tune that definitely fits in with the style is a slide. Just sliding in to certain notes really makes a big difference and really gives it a lot of character. So you're welcome to throw slides in as well. Because the rhythm of this tune is already pretty interesting, we have the swung eighth notes. There's already a lot happening there. So there's not a ton of room for additional notes such as grace notes, but if you'd like to try to throw those in, you're more than welcome to. But double stops and slides would be the two things that I would add into this tune if you are interested in giving it a few more layers. Well, congratulations for learning Oh Mary, Don't You Weep with me today on the violin. I really hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks again, Roland, for your request. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed the video. So why not check out this one next? Also, if you'd like exclusive content from the Tune Project and a more personalized experience, head over to Patreon and join our wonderful little fiddle community. Your support helps me to continue to grow as a creator and ensures that I'm able to continue to provide free educational content here on YouTube. Thank you.